those who don't know what that is, if Maya Angelou can read, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> I've traveled from the motherland into the 20th century. Yet society is still trying to classify and stereotype me. I am the essence of all colors within me. From bondage to President Obama, my knack for victory precedes me. From Cleopatra to the Statue of Liberty, I am unique and proud to represent all the beautiful aspects of our women's history. I am more than skin tones and hues of black, brown, tan, and even beige. My significance was in my conception, not when Abraham freed the slaves. My history goes deeper and further than the discovery of the new world. I am a black woman, mother of every man, woman, boy, and girl. I am the reflection of nature, of nature, captured in my natural self. I am 20th century fine even when using the retail products off the shelf. I am style, grace, and a huge dose of human rights and liberation. I am the mother of nonviolent protest, feminine movements, and positive communications. I am the one that your mother warned you about, but I am also the one you can take home to meet her. I am first of all a lady, then a warrior, lawyer, friend, mother, sister, and diva. I am the reflection of success. No matter the hue of my humanity, I am what the pursuit of happiness looks like when you see the determination inside of me. I am woman, created to create, nurture, care, shape, and to mold. I am the foundation of all generations in my many colors, bright and bold. My complexion is just the outside, but the inside is just the same. I am a proud black woman, no matter what I wear on my feminine frame. I will continue to do my God-given duty to populate the world with positivity. I carry the burdens of many on my mission, so I ask that you all continue to pray for me, because I am a proud black woman.